we can come across the people in the history all those successful people had a failure in their book history but they never gave up till they become successful winners do not do different things but rather they do things differently they take extra energy to walk extra miles till they reach their target dear friends a pleasant good morning to everyone present here now i request dr chidananda al sir coordinator of department of education accompanied today's resource person dr c p ramashir sir to the dais welcome you sir welcome is the noblest acts of any function by welcoming we make the person feel at home amidst us we have come together today for an informative session let's begin this session by welcoming the today's resource person dr c p ramesh sir a warm welcome to you sir and i request mrs lamim ms to welcome sir florally and a heartly welcome to all the participants present here for this session nothing but heavenly predilection has brought us together this morning to rejoice at the presence of our eminent personality it's a very great privilege to introduce our resource person dr c p ramashish sir he is a coordinator dr s radha krishnan center for philosophy and indian culture in 2013 he is a retired university librarian in mysore university library mysore term 2011 to 2016 he is a lead auditor iso certification center of information science and technology member academic council university of mysore from 2011 to 2016 he has completed his education 1978 in master of library science by getting the first rank in university of mysore and he has done his phd in 1988 in the same university university of mysore he has published 2000 uh, sorry 200 500 papers in journals and conference seminar and proceeding he has published 12 books and edited volumes his research experience has guided 13 phd doctoral programs he has visited many abroad countries like usa great britain france germany czech republic rome japan and it's a great honor for me to introduce the resource person and now i request dr cp ramesh sir to take over the section and i welcome you once again sir and once again i welcome you one and all I'm thankful to the organizers for having given me an opportunity to share with you the trends and developments pertaining to the use of various anti plagiarism software the topic of this session is uh, academic and research ethics of late uh, there has been emphasis on improving the originality of research output and improving the quality of research output in this direction several measures have been taken by national bodies like university grant commission all india council of technical education indian council of medical research and indian council of agricultural research teachers and researchers are supposed to publish a research paper from time to time when you contribute to research article to journals please note that invariably it should be a journal carrying international standard serial number ISSN number is a must for the journal otherwise your contribution will not be considered for academic points if you bring out books or if you publish books even that book should carry ISBN number international standard book number and if your organization or college organize national seminars or national conference and if you intend to bring out conference volumes or seminar volume that volume should carry isbn number international standard book number it is going to be given by rajaram mohan rai national agency for isbn uh, it is a department attached to ministry of hrd ministry of hrd this isbn number is a must even for conference proceedings 
अदरवाइज द होल बंच ऑफ फार्टी टू सिक्सटी आर्टिकल विल गो वेस्ट ई एस बी एन नंबर इज ए मस्ट नाट ओनली फॉर बुक्स बट आलो फॉर सेमिनार अंड कॉन्फरे प्रोसीडिंग्स देन रेफरीड जर्नल यू आर सपोज टू पब्लिश युअर रिसर्च आर्टिकल इन रेफरीड जर्नल वेन यू अटेंड इंटरव्यू द members or the chairman of board of appointment will ask you how many of your articles have been published in refereed journals there will be referees it is also called peer reviewed journals there will be referees they go through your contribution they will ask you to update the statistical part they will ask you to update the concluding part here and there they ask you to make changes so finally they will tell you that your article has been accepted finally they will communicate you that your article has been accepted for publication and uh, the forthcoming issue will accommodate your publication so when you contribute your research article please note that uh, uh, you should be in a refereed journal refereed journal or peer reviewed journal i have come across board of uh, chairman board of appointment usually the vice chancellor may ask you how many of your articles have been published in refereed journals it's a must then next one is journals with high impact factor you are supposed to publish your research papers in journals carrying high impact factor the quality of the journal quality of journal is determined based on impact factor that is to say the extent of use to what extent that particular journal has been used the impact factor indicates the extent of use for example i would like to quote the example of current science you have heard of current science your library is getting current science it is number one journal in the discipline of general science number one journal being published from indian academy of science bangalore or raman research institute four years ago the impact factor of current science was 0.38 number one journal best journal in the field of general science 0.38 was the impact factor 4 years ago 6 months ago with all effort they brought it to 0.85 yesterday it was 1.1 yesterday it was 1.1 they have improved a lot number one journal from india and on the other hand at international level we have a journal by title nature nature is the best journal in the field of general science Two years ago, the impact factor of nature was 42.3. 42.3. Six months ago, it was 40.5. Yesterday, it was 49.96, almost 50. So, where is 50 and where is 0.85? Therefore, it is said, if you publish two articles in nature, it is more than publishing 50 articles in current science. therefore the question of impact factor comes into the picture how do you determine impact factor probably you you must have heard of impact factor how to calculate that impact factor are you aware of that one how to calculate total number of references please remember that one total number of references divided by total number of articles published in that journal over a period of 2 years gives rise to the impact factor for example jur- journal by title talenta talenta in the field of chemistry talenta is a monthly journal on average if each issue carries 10 article over a period of 1 year there will be 120 article for a period of 2 years there will be 240 articles so how many references have appeared during this 2 years in all these journals so many references have been taken from talenta say all together for 2 years there are 1000 references 1000 divided by 240 that is 4.2 something even 4.2 impact factor is a very good impact factor impact factor speaks about the quality of the journal if you say i have published 10 articles in these journals in this particular discipline somebody will ask you what is the impact factor of that journal impact factor speaks about the quality of the journal in which you have contributed your research article they will definitely ask you if you say i have contributed 100 articles i have published 100 article they will say 
what are those journals, then next immediately they will ask you, what is the impact factor of that journal? If the impact factor is a 0.11, they will think something else. Suddenly if you say the impact factor is 8.5, they will appreciate it. I already told you, Mysore University is 105 years old. Altogether, there are only five articles which have been published in Nature. First article was published in 1929 from Botany Department. So, 105 years, there are only five articles in Nature. It could be an article of just one pages. So, journals with high impact factor speaks about the quality, quality of your research article. Then, next is H-index. H index. You are supposed to, all research scholars are supposed to understand what is impact factor, what is H index. It is very important for you. So, uh, what is the impact factor of Bangalore University? What is the impact factor of Bangalore University? What is the impact factor of Karnataka University? NAC, NAC team, when they visit the universities, first they are going to consider is what is the H index of Bangalore University. What is the H index of Bangalore University? What is the H index of Bioscience Department of Bangalore University? What is the H index of Head of the Department of Chemistry Department? Now they are going to ask like that. So uh, during NAC assessment all faculty members are concerned with impact factor and H index. So how do you calculate H index? I tell you how do you calculate H index? If I say my H index is 40, I might have published 600 papers. I might have published 600 papers. If my H index is 40, that is to say, though there are 600 articles, 40 of my articles carry minimum 40 and more than that article. 40, all these 40 articles, there are minimum 40 citing authors. When I say my H index is 30, all these 30 papers, all these 30 papers carry 30 and more than 30 citations, references in various journals throughout the world. Therefore, H index speaks about the quality of my publication. I might have published 500 papers, I might have published 300 papers. When I say H index, exactly they will come to know the quality of my research contribution my research contribution. So, next one is alt matrix. Either two, I have discussed about citation matrix. Citation matrix means quantitative considerations. Please note, quantitative consideration. Here it is. Either two, all universities, all NAC team, they were concerned with quantitative consideration of our publication what Mangalore University has published, what uh, Karnataka University has published, what this particular department has published, what this particular faculty member and research scholar has published. Either two, we have been consider, considering quantitative performance. Quantitative performance. Then what about the qualitative performance of research papers? Now, people are into alt metrics. Nobody has heard of alt matrix. You ask somebody what is alt matrix, nobody knows. This is the latest trend. Probably after two years, they are going to start considering alt matrix. Alt matrix speaks about the quality of your research publication. H index and impact factor speaks about the quantitative, quantitative value of your research publication. Alt matrix means the comments, the expert comments about the research article published in various journals, they collect alt matrix, alt matrix explorer, it's a software, it will collect all comments stated by experts on various research reports and research publication. Usually they appear in Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn, such as these websites. So alt matrix, the latest one. Latest one, uh, people have not gone into this one right now. Then finally, percentage of similar content. What is this percentage of similar content? So you have submitted your doctoral thesis, 
what percentage of that doctor your uh, thesis is original to what extent your contribution is there what is new in the thesis what are the significant contribution of the researcher where is the research aspect what is new in this thesis and to what extent you have copied from various sources uh, ugc director implementnet director he took a session he took a session in one of the universities and in his course of talk he said yesterday we scanned a thesis for plagiarism check uh, the percentage of similar content was 98% only 2% was original he said only title might be original <laughs> title might be original therefore they are going to consider in your research report or in your research article or in your doctoral thesis to what extent there is your contribution to what extent there is your contribution and to what extent you have copied from various sources whether 50% is your contribution another 50% you have copied from various sources what are those sources the software will retrieve all those sources it will allow you to compare side by side you cannot argue you cannot argue in mysore university uh, we started way back in 2013 and 14 jnu and mysore university started among universities for the first time during 2013 and 14 so far uh, 4000 theses have been submitted uh, excluding theses in kannada urdu hindi sanskrit four languages uh, uh, as of today uh, the total number of theses is 2500 we have scanned 2500 doctoral theses for plagiarism check so to what extent there is originality to what extent they have copied from various sources the software is able to tell you now i am coming to academic and research ethics academic and research ethics what do you mean by ethics you have all, you have all of you have heard of ethics ethics means it is derived from root of greek word ethos it was which means moral value or something concerned with character character integrity character moral value you have heard of aristotle philosopher socrates aristotle plato greek philosophers and aristotle was uh, during 3rd century bc he delivered number of lectures on ethics number of lectures on ethics his son his son collected all those contribution and brought out in 10 volumes it was called nicomachean ethics nicomachean ethics what do you mean by nicomachean courageous person courageous person courage to tell the truth courage to adhere to moral principles courage to tell the truth so courage to practice non violence nicomachean ethics it was on virtues and values how individual should best live so he has discussed about generosity magnanimity gentleness truthfulness pleasantness justice fairness self mastery friendship happiness recommending right and wrong behavior concerned with ethics this was the contribution of aristotle he was father of father of science he has done extensive research extensive contribution in the field of philosophy philosophy ethics and he was called father of science at the same time philosopher so categorization of ethics meta ethics theoretical discussion theoretically discuss then normative ethics practical means of moral force of action so set principles norms for moral behavior then we have applied ethics applied ethics concerned with what a person is permitted to do in a specific situation we have business ethics military ethics political ethics animal ethics ethics of technology and today we are concerned with publication and research ethics publication and research ethics so ethics in europe they extensively use the word ethics 
What is the equivalent Indian term dharma? Vice Chancellor was extensively discussing about dharma. Dharma, what is dharma? That which upholds, Vice Chancellor today, he defined the word dharma. That which upholds, that which sustains, that which sanctions our consciousness. Patanjali, the author of Ashtanga Yoga, he has also Yama Niyama. These are the first two steps among eight steps wherein he has explained about Ahimsa, non-violence, Satya, speaking truth, then Asteya, not uh, 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 confiscating the things belonging to others, then Aparigraha, amassing the wealth, then Indriya Nigra, self-restraint. These are the uh, basic uh, uh, ethics to be followed in Indian philosophy. So, Professor P. V. Kane, Professor of Bombay University, he has written extensively on history of Dharma Shastra, published in eight volumes. So, research ethics. Now, we are coming to the topic. What is research ethics? Moral principles that guide researchers to conduct and report research without harming the participants. Without harming the participants, then environment and not harming the society either knowingly or unknowingly. This is the standard definition for research ethics. Ethical principles include honesty in presenting data, honesty in presenting data, results of research, methods and materials used further not to indulge in fabrication, falsification and plagiarism. I will be explaining these descriptors in the next slides. So, UGC has already uh, published notification concerned with academic integrity. Promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in the year 2018 and CARE, uh, you must be aware of this CARE list of journals. CARE means Consortium for Academic and Research Ethics, a committee, a committee to monitor quality of research publication committee to monitor the quality of research publication. The responsibility is interested to Pune University. Pune University. So, academic integrity. Academic integrity. What is academic integrity according to University Grant Commission? Intellectual honesty in proposing. You will be proposing the... You will... Uh, bring research proposal. We will be submitting research synopsis. So, one should be sincere and honest in writing the research synopsis or proposing the research. Then next one is sincerity or honesty in performing research. What is, you will be doing field work, you will be collecting data, you will be collecting responses, one should be sincere. Sincere in proposing, Sincerity in performing research and sincerity in reporting, drafting the thesis, writing the thesis, writing the research article, one should be sincere and honest. So, intellectual honesty in proposing, performing and reporting any activity which leads to the creation of intellectual property. That is the definition given by University Grant Commission regarding academic integrity. Another part is prevention of plagiarism. Put together, promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism. Already there is a notification issued on 31st July 2018. So, research misconduct. This is the definition put forth by American Psychological Association. It has already been explained to you. Now, certain technical terms are descriptors. Uh, one should be aware, uh, all of you should be aware of some of these uh, technical terms. So, cut corners. What do you mean by cut corners? Cut corners. One of my friends will approach me tomorrow and he says, uh, we are going to organize one national conference next month. If an article is already ready with you, Please give that article. We will say that it is published in conference proceedings. So, in that case, what I do? 
I will take one of my article published one year ago, already published. Then what I do, I will alter the title of the article. First paragraph I will alter thoroughly. Here and there I will exclude some of the sentences. Conclusion, I will rewrite the conclusion. So I will submit the same article for publication. Rehash. Same article I am going to contribute for the second time. What I do, here and there I will exclude, I will alter the title, some of the lines I will exclude. This is called cut corners and submit the same for publication. Repeatedly, same article is going to be published for the second time, third time. So, as a researcher, you must avoid, avoid rehash. Submitting the same research paper for the second time, third time, that has to be avoided. It is called cut corners, technical. Remember that one. Then we have salami slicing. What do you mean by salami slicing? For example, I am, I am doing a research on use of newspapers and magazines in libraries. Use of newspapers and magazines in libraries. I am going to collect responses from you. There are 100 research scholars, so I am going to collect responses from you on use of newspapers and magazines in libraries. So you will be giving response to me through questionnaire or through interview. So I have collected the data, broad objective or one hypothesis is there, use of newspapers and magazines in libraries. Ultimately, what I am going to do, I will publish for four articles. Instead of an article on newspapers and magazines in libraries, I am going to publish four articles. Use of sports magazines in libraries, use of Urdu newspapers in libraries, use of Kannada newspapers in libraries, use of uh, English newspapers in libraries. Sports magazines, Urdu newspapers, Kannada newspapers. At the time of collecting the data, what I did, I projected just one objective, use of newspapers and magazines. With this specific objective, you have given response. You have not given response with reference to sports magazines, Urdu newspapers, Kannada newspapers. So I have collected response pertaining to use of newspapers and magazines. But what ultimately I did, I published four articles, salami slicing, that has to be avoided because uh, you have not given response with reference to use of sports magazines in libraries. Therefore, salami slicing, splitting the same response or data to publish four articles, five articles, six articles. At the time of collecting the data, I projected just one object. So salami slicing has to be avoided. Number three, fabrication, very important, fabrication of data. What do you mean by fabrication? Cooked up data, imaginary data, false data. So 19%, so tabular column, I will put 19%, 32%, 38%, remaining 23%. All put together, it comes to 100% exactly. This is imaginary data, cooked up data, fast data. So fabrication of data has to be avoided. Fabrication of data means refers to inventing data or imaginary data. Sometimes researchers, they do not collect the data at the time of distributing the questionnaire. While drafting the research report, they come to know that this is very important. At that time, what they do, they will draw a table, they will imagine and put the statistics and percentages, values and percentages. This is fabrication of data. This has to be avoided. Fabrication of data has to be avoided. Then falsification of, falsification of data. What does it mean? Refers to misrepresentation. Refers to misrepresentation. For example, 49.4% of the students are regularly coming to the library. Every day, 49.4% of the students 
coming to the library regularly or coming to the library every day. So I am going to interpret this one. Large majority of the students are coming to the library every day. Is it right? No. Misrepresentation, misinterpreting the data. 49.4% is not the large majority. Large majority means it has to be either 65% or more than 70%. So this is a misinterpretation. Then we will draw the uh, pictorograph, graph, graphical representation will be there. Sometimes the researchers, uh, they use uh, tricks. They will project a bar diagram. They will project uh, to A and B. So from the distance you cannot make out a lot of difference is not there. But actually when you refer to the data there is vast difference between A and B. But uh, pictograph doesn't show that one. This is misrepresentation. Misrepresentation has to be avoided or misinterpreting the data has to be avoided. 50%, less than 50% you cannot interpret as large majority. 49% is not the large majority of the respondents or large majority of the students. 49% of the students are coming to the class regularly. So if I write the interpretation as large majority of the students are attending the class regularly, no, this is a wrong representation, misrepresentation. This has to be avoided. Then authorship of views refers to having obtained authorship on a paper despite having done little to deserve it. Somebody is there as second author, somebody is there as the third author, what is his contribution? No, when contribution is not at all there, how come that his name is there? People will start criticizing. Please note that uh, now the trend is, uh, in how many research articles you are there as sole author, sole authorship. As sole authorship, how many articles you have contributed? They are going to ask you in the interview. You have, how many articles you have written? You have written 52 articles. But as sole authorship, how many? Out of 52, you cannot say two article or one article. Oh, be careful. Sole authorship, how many articles you have published? You article, stone. Then they may ask you, in how many articles you are there as first author? You are there as first author. This is the trend. If you are there, really you are the, you are the researcher and you have really contributed you have written the research paper, but unfortunately your name is there as the third author. No, it is a great loss to you. According to UGC NARF, 70% of the score goes to the first author. The remaining 30% will be shared by rest of the authors. Please note this. At the time of interview, uh, the latest trend is, uh, how many articles you have contributed as sole authorship? In how many articles your name is there as first author? Yes, article and you are new first author. They are not going to consider if you are there as third author or second author because you will be sharing 30% of the score. It is an inter international conference, five, 5 marks. First author will get 3.5, second author will get 0.75. Third author will get 0.75. Therefore, we have to be very careful. Then, publication misconduct. We have to avoid. One is, what are the things to avoid? Ghost authorship. Ghost writer. Have you heard of ghost writer? I am writing the book or I am writing the research paper, but my name is not revealed. My name is not revealed. Sometimes people write a uh, biography in the name of minister. The writer's name is not at all revealed. Minister will become the author. That is ghost authorship. Ghost authorship. Ghost authorship on a gap guide pole. Aun yellow kansa deila. Yavano abun yasara kira. Ghost authorship you have to avoid. Ghost authorship. Then gift authorship. You know gift authorship. For having obtained some favor, uh, I am putting the name of my friend. 
putting the name of my colleague. That is gift authorship. You have to avoid gift authorship. People will come to me. Then you have to avoid sold authorship. What I tell you, sold authorship. Receiving money and writing research papers or writing thesis. Sold authorship. Sold. Then disputed authorship. My roommate, he belongs to sociology. I belong to chemistry. So I have written a chemistry article, but sociology, research scholar is there as second author. People will, people will criticize, how come this sociology research scholar is there in the chemistry research article? So disputed authorship. All these four have to be avoided. Then plagiarized content. Very important. My topic of lecture is focus is on plagiarist content. What do you mean by plagiarism? Plagiarism, Kruti Chaurya. Borrowing the ideas. What do you borrow? Ideas. Don't forget this one. What do you borrow? Sentences. No. What do you borrow? Paragraph. No. You are borrowing the ideas. Even if you write in your own words, if you break down the technical terms into simple sentences, if you are good in English, you can write better than the original author, you are borrowing the ideas. Plagiarism is borrowing the ideas of others and presenting them as if they are my ideas without citing the source or without giving credit to the authors. You can write in your own Borrowing the ideas of others and presenting them as if they are my ideas without citing the source or without giving credit to the author is plagiarism. Is plagiarism. Uh, there is difference between plagiarism and similar content. Uh, plagiarism and similar content. You have to be very careful. Then, predatory conferences. Predatory conferences. Uh, here and there you will come across announcements. We are organizing one national conference in Cochin. We are inviting you to be there as editor of the volume, conference key volume. You will get invitation. Please uh, help us by being editor of the volume. Or you are invited to chair a session. You are invited to chair a session. So we are tempted to go. We are tempted to be there as editor of the volume. The main intention is to make money and disappear overnight. They, do, they may not belong to your discipline. Their intention is to make money. If you say, yes, I will come, then they will collect 2,000 rupees for the conference volume and conference uh, uh, fees will be 5,000 rupees. They will collect 7,000 rupees from everybody they will organize the conference, they will make money and they will disappear. It is called predatory, predatory, predatory conferences, predatory journals are there. Predatory journals means they publish journal just for the sake of money, just for the sake of money. So if you pay 5000 rupees, they will see that your article is published day after tomorrow. There is no editorial process. There, is, there are no referees, no uh, editorial board at all. So whatever you do, they will print the entire thing as it is. They will bring out the journal. They will make money. They will disappear after one year, making adequate money. It is called predatory journal. UGC has already notified. Please do not associate with predatory conference. Please do not publish your research article in predatory journals. Please note this. In case if you contribute or in case if you attend a conference or seminar, national seminar, in that case, your, your publications and your contributions will not be considered for promotion, selection or scholarship like that. It has already notification is there. So if you happen to contribute to a predatory journal, or if you associate with predatory conference, that will not be considered for academic score, for promotion, for selection, for CAS, and for scholarship. It is clear already. So predatory conference, common knowledge, 
common knowledge. Aristotle uh, uh, syllogism says, all men are mortal, Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. It is a very popular statement, you need not quote, you need not say, you need not say this is a statement of Aristotle published in this particular manuscript or journal, no, there is no need of citing the source for very popular statements, even acts, motor vehicle act or RTO rules and regulations, there is no need of citing the source for popular knowledge. Predatory journal, I already explained, no harm, no harm. So many of you may belong to science discipline or technological disciplines. In that case, you will be conducting lot of experiments, lot of experiments on animals, lot of experiments on environment, then no harm. Experiments and research outcomes should not be harmful to environment. It should not be harmful to the society. It should not be harmful to animals. It should not be harmful to respondents those who have given response through questionnaire interview. So no harm. It should not be harmful to anyone. Then confidentiality has to be maintained. So when you distribute questionnaire, usually in the cover letter you write, your data or opinion, whatever you have expressed will be used only for research purpose, only for research purpose. The data will be used for research purpose and it will not be revealed. Confidentiality will be maintained. Maintain confidentiality of respondents, then obtain prior consent, well informed. So, if you are conducting experiments or if you are collecting opinion, you please make it clear what you are going to do, what you are going to do, what your research is about. That has to be clearly explained to the respondents. Then last one is visual blower. Visual blower. If it is waste of money, waste of money, waste of resources, abuse to the authorities, abuse to the authorities, if it is harmful to the environment, if it is harmful to the respondents or to your colleagues, uh, that should be brought to the attention of the authorities. If it is wastage of money, if a research scholar is just wasting the money conducting experiments in one of the institution, uh, it may be brought to the attention of authorities. It is called visual ploy, complaining, complaining against the researcher. All these are stated by University Grant Commission. Fabrication, falsification, plagiarism, failure to get ethical approval, approval incomplete data, missing data, not exposing data and findings on side effects. If at all, if there is any side effect, that should be explained. That should be made known to the community. Then conducting research on human beings without prior consent. All these are research misconduct. American Psychological Society has conducted a survey. Conducted a survey. It has indicated to what extent uh, this research misconduct is there. Various, various aspect of research misconduct. Redundancy. Redundancy means repeated publication, repetition. To what extent it is there? 7%. Plagiarism is 7%. Redundancy is there to 24%. Duplication of research. Du public publishing for the second time, third time is to the extent of 15%. Then data fabrication animal welfare concern, human welfare concern, disputed authorship, like that. Uh, they have conducted survey and they have indicated the extent of research misconduct. So CARE, UGC, Government of India has formulated consortium. Please remember, consortium, almost like a committee. Consortium for Academic and Research Ethics. One committee has been formed. It, the responsibility is entrusted to Pune University. Pune University. Their main objective is to analyze and monitor quality. Analyze and monitor quality 
in research reports and research articles. So deteriorating academic integrity. To overcome deteriorating academic integrity, counting number than quality. Till that time, people were counting the number of publications. How many publications you have? How many articles you have published? How many books you have written? They were considering only the quantity. What about quality? Then, research misconduct, what I have already explained. Then, UGC has clearly stated, clearly stated, do not consider for selection, promotion, academic score or credentials or scholarship. If there is predatory journal or predatory conference. So, only in India, there are 488 predatory journals, number one. We have to be very careful. When you contribute your research article, please see whether it is predatory journal or it is a really a research journal. Since how long it is there in existence? Who are the expert committee? Who are the people on the editorial board? So their main is to aim at innovation and quality research. Scientific effort, search for truth. Significant contribution to knowledge. Socio-economic benefits should be there out of research. Then foster ethical conduct. This is their main motto. So nearly 40 institutions have become member of care committee. Almost all national institutes are the members. University Grand Committee, Indian Council of Social Science Research, Indian Council of Philosophy Research, Indian Academy of Sciences, Indian National Science Academy, Central Institute of Indian Language, Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Indian Council of Medical Research, like that, uh, uh, all research, national re research institutes are the members of CARE Committee. And some of the universities they have identified. These universities, uh, they will suggest Canada Journal, Tamil Journal, Urdu Journal, some of the regional journal, they recommend for consideration. That is the responsibility of nodal universities. Now, they are going to include the journals under care list. How they are going to include? Not arbitrarily they are going to include. Responsible job. How they are going to include the journal under care list? Considering these 10 criteria. There are 10 criteria. Based on these 10 criteria, they are going to assess the quality of the journal and include under care list. Care list. You are supposed to publish your research article in the journals listed under care list. So, diligence and critical appraisal. This should be there in the content of the journal. Then they will see the history of the journal. Since how long it is there, who are the editors, who are the experts, what is the subscription price, and all history of the journal they are going to consider. Then peer review process, whether editorial board is there, whether referees are there, before publishing your article, whether the experts go through your article and recommend for publication. Then use of metric, statistical methods. You are all research scholars, you have to apply statistical methods. Uh, hypothesis have to be proved or disproved statistically. Very essential nowadays. And hypothesis, formulation of hypothesis, very important aspect. Proving or disproving the hypothesis using statistical methods. Then market reputation. What about market reputation? What is the circulation? How many copies they publish every time? Then academic credential. Editorials, whether they belong to research institute, whether they belong to universities or whether they belong to some national schools like that, then indexing and subscription price, whether they are indexed in Web of Science or Scopus, what is the subscription price? Then fee and financial matter, they may ask the publisher to send uh, hard copies, sample copies for inspection. So based on these 10 criteria, they are going to recommend the journal to include under care list.
Now they have fixed, uh, the committee has fixed certain responsibilities. You are all authors. You are all authors, you have got certain responsibilities. You must understand your responsibility before contributing research paper. You are all going to write research articles. Stipulation is there. Before submission of your thesis, so many articles have to be published in journals. So what are the responsibilities as authors? Then there are responsibilities as editors, responsibilities of reviewers, responsibilities of publishers. These are the responsibilities of authors. You are all authors. All research scholars and teachers will become authors. So present objectives and hypotheses. In your research paper, there should be objectives and hypotheses. Significance of research. Accurate and reliable records of data be maintained for reference and verification. Do not destroy the research data. Then referencing system. Referencing system. Be careful. Referencing system, you must maintain uniformity and consistency. Books, everywhere, author, title, place of publication, publisher, year of publication, invariably should be there. Read journal article, author, title, name of the journal, volume number, issue number, year of publication, starting page of the article, ending page of the article, it's a must. So, report, thesis, web-based information. There are specific format. Researchers should become familiar with rendering of references and bibliography. Now I am going to ask one simple question. What is the, because in many research, many theses we come across bibliographical references. Many theses. At the end we come across bibliographical references. Don't write bibliographical references in your thesis or research article. Referencing is different from bibliography. Now you have to tell me what is reference and what is the bibliography. You have to Madam is telling her. Uh, usually references will be at the end of every chapter, bibliography will be at the end of the thesis. If you have any objection, you can write. <laughs> but uh, uh, many people, many uh, teachers, uh, they remember me. Sir, last time you told us about uh, uh, referencing and bibliography. Either two, we were not knowing that one. Reference means, for having taken some definition or statistical table or some information, we will be citing the source. For having taken some information, definition, statistics or some uh, statement, all those will come under references. The references mean list of sources cited or referred. Bibliography means I have not taken any information, I have not taken any definition, any statistic, any table, any information, no information, I have not taken any, but still it is an important source, uh, important book on the topic of my research, I would like to include under bibliography, it will not come under references, it will come under bibliography, list of, list of sources consulted or read. I have read that book, but I have not taken any information. I have not cited any information. I am going to include that one under bibliography. References means I have taken one definition. I have taken one table. So invariably it has to be under references. Please note that difference between references and bibliography. Then referencing system. We have come across uh, uh, many cases. If it goes to foreign authors, I don't know whether your research will go to foreign universities or not. At the outside, they are going to verify the references and bibliography, whether consistency and uniformity is maintained. Sometimes, surname of the author will not be there. Sometimes, name of the publisher will not be there. Sometimes, year of publication will not be there. Such of these theses will get, will be sent back for resubmission. So, uniformity and consistency should be maintained while rendering references. You must be good in 
rendering references manually manually you can also rely upon reference managers there are software packages if you throw the details it will arrange systematically uh, author title place of publication publisher year of publication and all that one capital letter small letter punctuation comma colon full stop everything it will software will arrange systematically if there are 1000 references it will arrange in 2 seconds 2 seconds you can rely upon n not mendeley zotero zotero is open source so, um, papers paper product of springer so these are all reference managers software packages you can rely upon software packages or if you are good in rendering references and bibliography manually uh, you can render then avoid misconduct misbehavior fraudulent data plagiarism multiple submission submission to more than one journal self plagiarism bogus claim of authorship then ensure originality and contribute with the responsibility ensure originality and contribute with the responsibility so people will ask you can you tell me two important findings of your research if we ask at the time of interview uh, we don't know why many research scholars they will not answer you tell me two important findings of your research so important findings significant contribution of the author what is new in the thesis where is the research aspect very important aspect you must question yourself and evaluate your thesis before submission then acknowledge financial support and supervisors guides participate in peer review process peer review process if somebody is asking question pertaining to your research work don't try to avoid them because such of these questions will be same questions will be asked during viva voce so don't try to escape somebody raises question you try to answer you think about that one responsibilities of editors responsibilities of editors then we have responsibilities of referees referees responsibilities of publishers all these are stipulated by care committee ugc you can also consider them as ugc contribution so what is plagiarism simple definition i have told you borrowing the ideas don't forget this one ideas you are borrowing the ideas of others bere avara chintane golna nao kadita idivi borrowing the ideas of others and presenting them as if they are my ideas without citing the source or without giving credit to the authors without giving credit to the author is plagiarism use another's works without acknowledgement literary theft it is also called literary theft present as original idea derived from an existing source changing words but retaining the ideas without giving credit to the authors so many a time what the people do they will change the sentences they will revise the sentences they try to write their own language and try to avoid try to cheat the software even then it is plagiarism because you are borrowing the ideas of others and stealing someone's ideas and later on telling lies so types of plagiarism latent plagiarism if you are copying up to 75% 80% it is latent plagiarism latent plagiarism potluck paper ideas taken from many sources here i will keep five research article two paragraph from a three paragraph from b one paragraph from c and another two paragraph from this article and conclusion from this five i will try to arrange all these paragraph in a logical sequence it is actually potluck paper words which alter keywords and phrases mosaic paraphrase most of the papers paraphrase most of the paper summarize most of the paper then self stealing you already published 2 years ago but you try to repeat the same idea but actually idea belongs to you but uh, you should cite that particular source otherwise it becomes self plagiarism please note that one if you have already published 
two years ago, please uh, include under references that avoids plagiarism. Otherwise, people will think this is for the first time you are bringing to the attention of users, but you already published two years ago. It is misleading. Then, ghost writer. The real writer is not revealed. Someone else is projected there. Nobody said don't copy. Nobody said don't copy or don't summarize of our articles of others. You, can, you are free to copy. If you want, you can summarize. If you want, you can paraphrase. Or if you want, you can take the sentences as it is. Nobody said don't take. If you want to take, you should be within inverted commas or you should be within quotes. You must render citation. There are two alternatives. Render citation, one alternative. If the sentence is not so important, you exclude the paragraph. This is the way to avoid plagiarism or complaint. Either exclude the paragraph. If it is so important, render the citation. Who is the author? The name of the article. Year of publication, name of the publisher, then uh, place of publication. So if you want to take the sentences as it is, you should be within quotes. You should be within quotes followed by citation. Thereby it avoids plagiarism. Up to what percent plagiarism is allowed? Everywhere, uh, when I deliver a talk, usually I ask this question. To what extent your university is allowing you to plagiarize the content? Less than 10, that is according to UGC. According to UGC, most of the Kerala universities, 20% uh, for preliminary chapters and 10% for core chapters. Some of the universities, science subjects up to 25, social science and humanities 35 percent. J. Then some of the universities 25 percent, Vishweshwara Technological University 25 percent. And many universities are following 30 percent. 30 percent tolerance limit. What is that 30 percent? You are telling that plagiarism, plagiarist content is allowed up to 10 percent. Some 30%, 25%, please note. Percentage of plagiarism allowed is zero. Don't forget. Nobody will tell you. People have misunderstood. You cannot copy even two lines. Percentage of plagiarism, Kruti Chauriya, Kannada dal eđtte ne. Vere avurudu est percent avurudu kapi madu bodu saranta. Kapi madu nge illa sir. Kapi madu dure plagiarism anta agatta. Pil koli. इधो 10 परसेंट और 25 परसेंट ये अलग ना लाइ दो सिमिलर कंटेंट देर इस डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लेगरेस्ट कंटेंट एंड सिमिलर कंटेंट 25 परसेंट 10 परसेंट 30 परसेंट ऑफ सिमिलर कंटेंट अलोड सिमिलर कंटेंट इफ यू टेक द सेंटेंसेस एस इट इस बिटवीन कोट्स दे आर कॉल्ड कोट्स दैट विल गेट एक्सप्लोडेड दैट विल गेट एक्सप्लोड or if you explain in your own words, uh, some of these sentences will be highlighted, even though you cite the source. They come under similar content. New within quotation mark, software automatically exclude. Or intentionally you can mention under folder option some of the sentences which appear frequently in the thesis. All those sentences will automatically get excluded. Some of the sentences not so important, you have, though you have cited the source, will be highlighted. For that there is provision up to 30% or 10%. They come under the category of similar content. Objection in the, yaru complaint madala. Similar content. Nimdala original. Nim perevar the tagi that kondi dira. Adikke, 100% or 100% of provision in the. Kruti chauriya killa. यार को बोलते लाइक ले लेता है इन्होंने इवन वन सेंटेंस यू आर नॉट सपोज्ड टू कॉपी ऑफ अदर्स सीएनआर व्हेन आई डेलीवर डे टॉक किन्ना केरला यूनिवर्सिटी वन ऑफ द रिसर्च स्कॉलर बन केम विथ अ बंच ऑफ रिसर्च पेपर्स विड्रॉन इट इस कॉल्ड रिट्रैक्टेड पेपर्स रिट्रैक्टेड मींस 
publisher will announce. Paper published in our previous issue stands withdrawn. So one of the papers he brought. There were three research scholars along with CNR. 20 page article. Similar content. Similar content. Plagiarist content was only three lines. <laughs> the whole article was withdrawn. Plagiarist content ge permission nila. Niwa den ayala dala 10 percent ido. Similar content. Sentences are similar. Sentences are similar. Please verify. For that there is problem. That is not your contribution. That is not your contribution. You have taken that one from somewhere. Probably you have taken that from where. The pro for that provision is there up to 30, 10 like that. Differs from university to university. Other than not fully. In the beginning, uh, when we scan using anti-plagiarism software, in the beginning, in, we have used to authenticate. 2500 uh, doctoral thesis we have scanned using authenticate, Turnitin, Urkun, Original, and another open source. One more is there, open source. Five software packages we have used. So, authent authenticate, Turnitin, and write check. All these three are from the same company, iParadigms, California, USA. The database, their database coverage is very vast. Nobody can compare with them. They are the uh, sole owners throughout the world. iParadigms, California, USA. So research institutions and for scanning doctoral thesis, recommendation is to rely upon authenticate. Student submission, dissertation, project first, you can rely upon Turnitin. Both are from the same company. This is for student submission, that is for research papers. Cross-check database is there. Cross-check database. Database coverage is very vast. Uh, 70 billion uh, web pages. 70 billion means 7,000 crore pages. 1 lakh 15,000 journals, 40 lakh e-books, e-journals like that. So very vast uh, database, it will verify within 15 minutes. In case of authenticate, turn it in and rate check. Rate check. So in the beginning it will be like this. Left hand side is your, your manuscript, your thesis. Right hand side, it is depicting on the top 50%. That is to say, 50% is your contribution. Another 50 percent you have copied from various sources. What are those sources? These are the sources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. From source 1 you have copied up to 35 percent. Source 2 you have copied up to 4 percent. Source 3 you have copied up to 3 percent. Further, it will allow you to compare side by side. Like this, you can compare. What is original here? Only the heading is original, education. That is not highlighted. Only the heading is original. Apart from heading, everything is he has copied. He has copied from this source. He has copied to the extent of 3% from this particular source. Uh, similar content is 28%. 72% original, 28% he has taken from various sources. Another case from authenticate. Here, the author has copied even the heading also. Blatant plagiarism. These are all live examples taken from a thesis. This is from right check. Uh, here, what the researcher has done, first sentence he has made it as the last sentence. Last sentence he has made it as the first sentence. Intentionally, he wanted to alter the sequence of sentences. But software will identify. Even if you change the sentences, software will detect that one. So the contention is, contention is, if somebody has explained very beautifully in 20 pages something related to your research thesis, don't try to borrow all those 20 pages or don't try to copy or bring in all those 20 pages into your thesis. It is not necessary. You just cite this author, such and such an author, as explained very beautifully in this case. Finished. 
don't try to uh, bring in all those 20 pages into your thesis. That is the contention of UGC. That is the contention of UGC. Avoid similar content. This is the case of work on Left hand plagiarism. Left hand side is the uh, thesis. Right hand side is the source from where he has copied. Entire thing he has copied. Left hand plagiarism. Still, if you think that you can retain, no problem. If you put a tick marks in the box, it will get excluded. One question, who has to decide whether it is plagiarist content or not? Yar decide madado? Librarian. Librarian or committee. Usually librarian is interested with the responsibility of scanning the thesis using anti-plagiarism software. Librarian will not sit in judgment whether it is plagiarist content or not. Please note that uh, research supervisor and the research scholar together they have to decide whether it is a plagiarist content or not, whether to retain or exclude. You have to decide. You have to decide. You can retain also. This is not a very important idea. Nobody will raise objection to this one. Let us retain. The research scholar and the research supervisor, they can decide. You have to decide. Librarian or the committee will not decide. Research scholar and the research supervisor, they are the authority to decide whether it is a plagiarist content or not, whether to retain or exclude, you have to decide. This is a case of a day for a study, there was a demonstration at Mysore University. This is a new Bangalore based company, Drillbit. Hitherto, there was no software for Kannada, Hindi, Urdu, Sanskrit. Research scholar was, they were extremely happy. There is no software in our case. That doesn't mean, but there are a lot of cases belonging to Kannada department only. Many cases are there before High Court. Many cases are. Your research scholar has copied my Rangoli design. Your research scholar has copied my Rangoli design. 75% no, of the pages he has copied. It's a case before High Court. Many cases sir, from Kannada department, they have carefully, way, manually, they have verified the thesis and the published content for plagiarism check. And one of the uh, complaint is that uh, from Central Sericulture Research Institute, your researcher has copied my methodology, which is a patented document. Patent. He is not supposed to copy my patent without my permission. He has not only copied, he has misinterpreted my methodology. There is a complaint. So, this is a uh, Canada software, it covers only the web content, not published source. Web content, drill bit, drill bit, Bangalore based company. Uh, the software will accommodate uh, Telugu, Canada, Tamil, and many Indian languages, including Hindi, Malayalam, etc. So, left hand side you can see the sources from where he has copied. The content what he has copied is highlighted here. Regional languages. Here he has not uh, uh, put the sentences within quotes. He has tried to explain. Therefore it is highlighted. Such of these content will appear as similar content. Similar content. Authenticate similarity index will be like this. Example. Turn it in similarity content is like another example. Both are from the same company. Original. Up to 2021, March 15, that Urkund was there. UGC was promoting Urkund from 2017 to 2021, March 15. Now two companies have joined together. That Urkund and Black Scan of Germany. Urkund is a Swedish software, Sweden. Black scan from Germany, they have both of them they have joined, joined hands. Now they have brought out with new name, original, original. Similar to Urkund only. Drill bit for regional languages. Mysore City has purchased this drill bit for Urdu, Hindi, Sanskrit and Kannada. 
how to avoid to avoid that one you have to render citation references uh, as a research scholar you must be thorough with the referencing system referencing system you must be thorough with the referencing system not it very important at the time of viva vasi after completing viva vasi you will be extremely happy somebody sitting in the end he will raise one question which which referencing style you have followed in your thesis somebody will ask him which referencing style you have followed in your thesis so you are supposed to answer this question in case if you do not answer everybody will turn to us your guide they expect your guide to answer sometimes guide will not answer this has happened it's a pathetic situation if guide doesn't answer the researcher will answer which referencing style he has followed it's a pathetic situation intentionally that student has asked sitting in the end he will ask at the end of the viva when you are extremely happy he will ask the question which referencing style you have followed uh, so please note that everybody should be aware of referencing style uh mathematics mathematics students you may follow american mathematical society format uh, engineering or computer science student you may follow ieee institute of electrical electronic engineers uh literature student you may prefer to follow oxford system of referencing footnotes bottom line or you can follow british standard institute 1 2 3 4 at the end rendering bibliography or you can many of you many social science and humanities research scholar normally they rely upon apa style gothi ya kelidira apa style yaka silent age idirala idu bala important nan yavodu important helthe ad nodkoli nimge ellaru yara robbaru kele bidtar which referencing style ant kele keltar referencing style american psychological association referencing style this is ordinarily surname of the author followed by year of publication as to or if you while explaining the text if you mention the name of the author within brackets the year of publication has to be mentioned complete details will be in the bibliography in the end this is uh, apa style most of the research scholar they follow apa style of referencing science social science and humanities uh, engineering and uh, computer science they may follow ieee format literature student they follow oxford system of referencing it is also equivalent to harvard system of referencing or you may follow chicago style manual or mla handbook is to tumba varieties ide vancouver referencing style ne note kodi yada ne sociology political science geography library science etc adre ap american psychological association format or if you take the content from website web content in the end you have to get the date on which you have retrieved 18 september 2016 why if somebody refers to that content after 2 years uh, that content may get revised they may revise the web content or they may scrap the website then becker or other or the date on which you have retrieved should be indicated within brackets in the end if it is from website format referencing style referencing style idik software ide software ge ella esputra clean aga arrange madkonbartaru zotero bekara follow madbodu if you want to follow the zotero or you catch hold of one library staff he will help you he will help you to render references and bibliography according to apa style or any chosen format using zotero open source software APA style modern language association american mathematical so oxford system of referencing harvard system ieee vancouver referencing style british standard sometimes uh, if you contribute research article to journals the journal has got style sheet accordingly you have to prepare the accordingly you have to render the references bibliography and references are already differentiated uh, end note reference managers they are called reference managers n not mendele zotero papers they are reference managers you must be good in manually rendering references or you can rely upon software 
software will arrange systematically. Why do scholars plagiarize? Plagiarism is the reason. 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 Third reason, number three, lack of command over English language. Introdu introduction, somebody has written introduction of 80 pages. Is it necessary to write 80 pages? All right. It is indicating 20% of similar content. We suggest him to reduce it to 25 pages. He says, sir, I can't reduce because if I start writing on my own, there will be a lot of mistakes. It has happened. So lack of command over English language is the reason for similar content or plagiarist content. He tries to copy either from printed source or from web content. These are the popular anti-plagiarism software. First three are from the same company. Authenticate, Turnitin, Check. Wiper we have used, open source from Mysore City. One thesis will take more than four hours or five hours. Then Plank Aware, Germany, Plank Scan and Urkund, they have joined together. Docolot, Plagiarism Checker, Plank Tracker, Original, then Drillbit. These are the popular anti-plagiarism software. First, first four, six and seven, and eleven are very important. Anti-plagiarism software. Throughout the world, people rely upon one and two. Not a yard of the software. Google is the Software number one, number two is the other. Turn it in and authenticate our monopoly mark. Database, the article which are going to be checked against plagiarism is very huge. 1,15,000 journals in soft, soft copy format. 1,15,000 journals. They have spent several crores of dollars to create that one. So, authenticate and turn it. They are reliable. Rest of the anti-plagiarism software, they are not reliable. If you use Urkund, it may show 5% of similar content, you will be extremely happy. Same thesis if you scan using Authenticate, it will indicate 20%. Four times, four times more than what the Urkund has depicted. So Authenticate, Turnitin are reliable. But journals, Springer, Taylor & Francis, Elsevier, all top publisher, they rely upon Authenticate. Authenticate. If you use Urkund, it will show 3% of similar content. You will be very happy. When they scan using Authenticate, it will indicate 22%. You will be unhappy. This is uh, original software promoted by UGC. UGC is not a promote some students can also be very early in Marathi. Then original again, Torsala. So, authenticate and turn it in 70 billion web pages, 1,15,000 journals, 45 million items of e-books, e-journal, e-article, conference proceedings. Very huge database. It will cover 30 languages of the world. 30 languages, not only English, Chinese, French, German, Italian, Swedish, Greek, Russian, Japanese, 30 languages of the world, authenticate and turn it. What does it cover? Internet sources, conference and seminar proceedings, research report, then journal articles, then institutional repository. Whatever institution, what are the dissertations, theses and publications are there in that university. Please note that uh, the software will not detect uh, if you copy photograph, images, diagrams, statistical tables. Software will not identify. If you copy my photograph, software will not identify. If you copy a diagram of your friend, it will not identify. It will identify only the textual information. Any textual information is yeah, identified. Chitra Golo, Mathe, Chaya Chitra Golo, you have identified.
exclude option is there. So at the time of submitting your thesis for plagiarism check, please consider from introduction to conclusion, only that much, excluding appendix part and preliminary pages, declaration, certificate, table of contents, acknowledgement, abstract, don't submit all these pages, otherwise 2% will be more. Or a questionnaire, interview schedule, glossary of terms, all this in the appendix, please exclude that one at the time of submission. Please submit from introduction to conclusion, introduction to conclusion plus title page because your name, title of the thesis has to be there. Your name, title page, introduction to conclusion and bibliography to check whether you have cited the source or not. While taking the percentage of similar content, they will exclude bibliography so that 2% will become less. One simple question, all right if I copy up to 70%, what is going to happen? What is going to happen to me if I copy up to 75%, 70%, 60%, already up to 50% if I copy as it is? What is going to happen to me? Whether you are going to uh, award a doctoral degree or whether you are going to retract my research paper or withdraw my doctorate degree, what is going to happen? Repercussions of plagiarism. Kriti Chaurya Madhadarinda. Namgen Tondri Agatha Saranta. Namgen Ara Tondri Agatha Saranta. Bala important. No deal. Immediate failure of research. UGC notif on the noti uh, notification, it is already there since 2013. If we receive any complaint either from a voluntary organization, voluntary organization, that better complaint number, or from a academic institute, we will forward that complaint to the concerned university vice chancellor bar registrar. They have to formulate a committee and initiate action against the research guide and the researcher. If they are found guilty, the research content has to be withdrawn, PhD has to be withdrawn without any correspondence either with the guide or with the research scholar. The content has to be withdrawn without any correspondence with the guide and the research scholar. Notification is already there. Then retraction of research paper. If it, all, if it is already published, the article published in our previous issue stands withdrawn. Retracted paper. Then blacklisting of scientists. The image of the university will be a stake. Image of the department, image of the guide. Then black, blacklisting of scientists is a subject of discussion in forums then punishable in the court of law. Somebody goes to court, the court will announce punishment. Then value of research is questionable. Now, uh, the coordinator, we were discussing, I am going to quote the example, what is going to happen uh, if you plagiarize the content? What has already happened so far? Guttenberg, defense minister, four years ago, Defense Minister, he submitted doctoral degree to Beirut University, Germany. Beirut University. 17,000 uh, research scholars wrote complaint to German, German Chancellor. The thesis was withdrawn. He was dismissed from German Ministry, Defense Ministry. Loss of job. Revoked PhD. Lawsuits, questioned integrity. This is the repercussion. Now, this is the case of German education minister, Anna Schavan. She also submitted doctoral thesis to the university, but there were plagiarist content. The thesis was withdrawn. Again, Chancellor Engel Merkel said, if you, the thesis is withdrawn, if you want to defend, you go to the court. So thesis was withdrawn, doctorate degree was withdrawn. Case of a German education minister. Mexico president Anna Nato, very interesting case. He tries to defend. He tries to defend. He tries to defend. He tries to defend. 
ಕಾಪಿ ಹೊಡೆದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಳೇದು ಸರ್ ಅದು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹಳೇದಾದ್ರೆ ಏನಂತೆ ಹೊಸ್ತಾದ್ರೆ ಏನಂತ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ನೋ ರೆಲೆವೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐವ್ ಕಾಪೀಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ನೋ ರೆಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆ ಹಿ ಟ್ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಡಿಫೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲೆಗರೈಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಗರಿಸಮ್ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇರ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಸಿಕೋ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಹಂಗೇರಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೆಗರಿಸಮ್ ವೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈನ್ಟಿ ಟು ಅಗೈನ್ ಹಿ ರಿಸೈನ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಶಿಪ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಿಲ್ ಪೊಟ್ಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೆಗೇರಿಸಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫ್ಯಾಬ್ರಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಫ್ಯಾಬ್ರಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮೆಕಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕುಕ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ನೋ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಅಶ್ಯೂರ್ಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಟೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಜರ್ನಲ್ ಐ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜರ್ನಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಲ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾನ್ಕಾಲಜಿ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಟೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಜರ್ನಲ್ ಹೈ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜರ್ನಲ್ ಅನಿಲ್ ಪೊಟ್ಟಿ ಬಿಗ್ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಫ್ರಾಡ್ ಎವರ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೌತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪೊಟ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸಸ್ಪೆಂಡೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೆಕಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೆಕೋಗೋನಿ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಸೈರಬಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಜರ್ನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಎಥಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ರಿಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ನೂರೆಂಬತ್ತು ರಿಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿಡ್ರಾನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಡೇಟಾ ದಿ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ದೀಪಕ್ ದಾಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಕನಿಕಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸಫರ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಗ್ಯಾರಿಸಮ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸುರಿಯ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಶಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಆಥರ್ ಶಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಗ್ಯಾರಿಸಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಟ್ನಿ ಮಿಲನ್ ಎ ಲಾಯರ್ ಇ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಗ್ಯಾರಿಸಮ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹರ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಜೆ ಕೆ ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದೀರಲ್ವಾ ಜೆ ಕೆ ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಶಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪೋರ್ ವೆರಿ ಪೋರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಮೌತ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟ್ಟರ್ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ ಅಟ್ಟರ್ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಶಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕಮಿಟ್ ಸೂಯಿಸೈಡ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ರಿಚ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ 
professor of Arizona State University in the depart in the discipline of management science. Sir, I am caught of plagiarism because I got promotion. My colleagues were upset. I got promotion. On account of this, my colleagues became upset. Therefore, they are complaining against me of plagiarism. That's how he started to defend. So he was awarded 268,000 contract by Phonic Police. So he prepared 84 slides. On Yambatnath slide prepare Marconi. He prepared 84 slides for this session. Out of 84 slides, he copied 52 slides from Chicago Police Department. <laughs> Became habitual. So case of Kavya Vishwanathan in the discipline of English literature. She copied from sources published during 1920s and 1930s. Even the world, the publisher Little Brown, they were able to trace the source. Emma Thompson accused of blatant plagiarism in her plays drama. This is professors in the discipline of law, algotry and tribe. They published number of books, but no reference, no bibliography. Recently, principal secretary, government of Karnataka, he wrote a book, he gave one copy to me for inspection. Then I said, there is no, sir, there is no bibliography, there is no reference. Then he said, why bibliography is necessary? Why reference is necessary? What is the role of reference and bibliography? I do not want to include references and bibliography. Then I said, you have taken UNESCO. UNESCO is of the opinion. This author is of the opinion. This is an important quotation of so and so. Abraman says like this. So many authors you have quoted in your book. Nowhere you have given reference. Nowhere you have given bibliography. Then he said, I, I, I am requesting you to prepare bibliography for my book. I, I spent one week to prepare bibliography for his book. This is another interesting case of South Korea. What they have done? They have taken 38 textbooks, chemistry and engineering textbooks of American authors. Here what they have done? Outer cover page they have removed. Title page they have removed. They have replaced with their names. They are neatly bound and circulated among the students on the campus. American textbooks found ra chanagira do, ulle do. Vargade page itla gade muka puta arda kudro. Title page ya detto adunno arda kudro. Avur ya sirdo van page sir se neeta bound ma but campus sir yalla student ko anchko. Now they are facing criminal charges before the court. 179 professors are facing the criminal charges, latest one, last year. Ten minutes break, Kodla, Mugus Kodla. Madam, shall I break for ten minutes? Uh, I am going to take another twenty or twenty-five minutes. Very important. How to avoid plagiarism in your thesis? How to avoid? That I am going to uh, complete within ten minutes. You take break for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is uh, with reference to Tyler and Francis. Tyler and Francis, they regularly publish 1,400 uh, journals. For a college or university department, it is very difficult to regularly bring out one publication, one journal, very difficult. Nearly 86% uh, of the journals being published from India are Behind schedule. Behind schedule. Now we are in the month of February. February, January issue. 2021, March, May, Bartar. Most of the journals are behind schedule. Most of the journals are behind schedule. Tyler and Francis, they regularly publish 1,400 journals. Today, if they, if they receive 100 research articles, they are rejecting 23 articles because of plagiarism beyond tolerance limit. That is the, usually 10% for journal article, 10 to 15% for journal article. Ah, this is very important. For your, the, with reference to your thesis, similar content or if you copy the content in these preliminary chapters, introduction, review of literature, methods and materials or methodology, about the institution, if you copy the content, usually people will not complain against you. People will not complain. 
similar content is expected similar content is expected because you can't write or create information about mangalore university you have to take either from printed source or what is there on the web that is uh, similar content is expected in these chapters introduction here you will be writing objectives hypothesis methodology you cannot create methodology what others have used same methodology you are going to use it will appear as similar content but uh, there will not be any complaint against it usually it's okay therefore many universities in kerala calicut university then kerala university then goa university they allow 20% for this preliminary chapter and only 10% for core chapters what are those 10% core chapters analysis and interpretation of data testing of hypothesis findings and discussion recommendation further scope of research conclusion similar content is not expected here illi eno copy madado avu madbar nodkodi core chapters social science and science alle this is common to most of the disciplines similar content is not expected here if you copy the content uh, it is very difficult to defend recently registrar evaluation asked us to come with a thesis loaded onto laptop we went to him he went to the portion of conclusion uh, conclusion of five pages were there or six pages were there he said uh, you see five pages he has taken from wikipedia how can he take the content for conclusion from wikipedia no this is not acceptable you call the research scholar and also the guide let them discuss with you. so similar content or plagiarism is not expected in conclusion conclusion you have to write on your own then further he went to the portion of recommendations there were six recommendations again he said you see recommendation 2 3 4 he has taken from wikipedia recommendation you are not supposed to copy from printed source or from website so it is objectionable it has to be original you have to write on your own that becomes the recommendation of your research work your contribution should be there gotakta ide alva illi ee portion nalli enu copy irbaru yenare iddre similar finding has been uh, uh, similar conclusion has been drawn in the research conducted by so and so in australia during this year similar conclusion has been arrived at ee tara bekar paribodu varthu same content you cannot copy it is objectionable core chapters software is there not to catch hold of the researcher it is it is there for the benefit of the researcher not to catch hold of the researcher so fact finding exercise not fault finding mission it is not fault finding mission it is fact finding exercise you can rectify the statements or quotations if you are not sure of the quotation software will tell you the exact quotation you can rectify that is the advantage please not do. then you can rectify the citation bibliography references you don't know who is the first author or surname of the author or year of publication software will fetch you this information so you sometimes you will be searching for year of publication sometimes you will be searching for author of this particular book so author will give you the book author will give the, the software will give you the name of the authors and year of publication that is the advantage then you can avoid plagiarism accidentally if there is any plagiarist content you can you, either you can exclude or you can render citation then you can trace the original please note that you are supposed to quote original original author because i have taken the content from somebody you cannot quote me because i am not the original author you are supposed to cite original author otherwise it will be objectionable then reduce percentage of similar content some of the guides will not accept if, if it is beyond 10 percent no no it is 15 percent i will not allow you try to reduce so you have to revise the thesis 
content you have to alter, some of the content you have to explore. Because uh, more the similar content, lower, lower is the quality. Lower is the percentage of similar content, higher is the quality of research output. Therefore, try to reduce the percentage of similar content. Then improve originality of research output. These are the advantages of relying upon software. Software is there not to catch hold of the researcher. It is for your advantage. UGC, UGC has stated that uh, all uh, norms should be brought to the attention of the researcher. Now, UG, according to UGC, quoted information with attribution, you can explore, no problem. So, you can exclude references, bibliography, preface, table of content, acknowledgement, glossary of terms. If you want, you can exclude. Not necessary to submit for plagiarism check. All generic terms, laws, acts, standard symbols, equations, you can exclude. Now, I am telling you an important thing now. How does the software work? Software yenge kandidiyate. How does the software work? How does the software detect this is a plagiarist content? What is the mechanism? It will go word by word. It will go word by word. Whether this word is there or not, it will, it will go in search of this word, particular word. And at the on uh, university, Mangalore, it will go word by word. So, UGC stipulation is 14 consecutive words. So, if you copy up to 14 words, the software will not highlight. If you copy the 15th word, it will highlight from 1 to 15. This is the mechanism. It will go word by word. We have given instruction to the software to highlight if it is consecutive 15 words. Consecutive 15 words. Careful. If you copy up to 13 words, software will not identify. If you copy up to 14 words, software will not identify. We have given instruction to the software to go up to 14 words. If you copy 15th word, it will highlight from 1 to 15. It will highlight from 1 to 15. This is the mechanism. Up to 10%. But universities are not listening to the UGC norms. Uh, they, some universities, they fix 30, 25, 35, preliminary chapters 20, core chapters 10, like that. For repeated plagiarism cases, increment of the guide will be withheld. Therefore, if you insist on signature, uh, many a time the guides may refuse they have to be very careful. There was a case of uh, plagiarist content in one of the thesis. Complaint was uh, submitted to the university registrar, Mysore City. The guide was also uh, asked to come and defend the case. The guide said, uh, all right, thesis content-wise it is okay. But the student has brought, not, he has not brought to my attention that he has copied from this particular thesis. What shall I do? I am not, I am not going to approve this case. You can take any action against the research scholar. You can withdraw the PhD degree, you can withdraw the thesis also. That's how he defended. So research scholars have to be very careful. For repeated plagiarism cases, the increment of the guide will be withheld. That is the recommendation of UGC. How to avoid plagiarism? How to avoid a plagiarism? One is paraphrase. If the content, if the content is very beautiful in three pages, don't put inverted commas for all these three pages. Starting from here, second page, third page, end. More page go quotation and that put it. In that case, you have to Paraphrase, summarize and tell in your own sentences. Tumba one page content is there, one page go quotation mark at point. Quotation mark, it is okay if it is in five lines or six lines. More than seven, eight lines, it is better to write in your own words. It is called paraphrasing, summarizing. Summarizing the ideas. 
Next one is citing the source. Similar content, if you want to take, you cite the source. Cite the source. Author, title, place of publication, publisher, year of publication. Cite the source. Then, if you want to take the content as it is, six lines or one paragraph, full content, if you would like to include in your thesis, please include with quotation mark. Inverted comma. Render citation. To avoid a plagiarism, complaint. Another thing. As shown in the quotation. Then cite your own source. If you already published one year ago, please indicate the source in which what you have published. Source you have published already. Then referencing. Uniformity and consistency. I have already indicated. Uniformity and consistency has to be maintained. Uniformity and consistency. Please choose a particular format. Please choose a particular format. APA style of referencing, RO system of referencing, or Oxford system of referencing. Please uniformity and cons consistency has to be maintained in rendering bibliography and references. So referencing system. You must be thorough with the referencing style. You go there Thesis format is that. Thesis format. Harinarayan was asking a research scholar. All right, uh, you, have, you have followed uh, APA style of referencing system. Is there any specific format for uh, drafting the thesis? Which style you have followed for drafting the thesis? Content of the thesis? He asked a question. APA style is there for drafting the thesis. You can see on the website. These are some of the technical terms that usually we come across for research misconduct, honesty, integrity, objectivity, intellectual property, confidentiality, accountability. Then researchers who are funded by public money can be held accountable to the public, openness, legality, social responsibility, animal care, law of the land has to be followed. Protection of human subjects, non-discrimination, responsible monitoring. So, thank you. so, if you have any questions, if you need clarification on any of the issues, or if you want to add anything in addition to what I have said, you are welcome. And here is the king and are through here. Yeah, the other aspect by getting clarification, explanation, if you are not clear, you can ask questions, you can ask for clarification, or if you want to add anything, you, can, you are welcome. their research article in the those care list of journals only. Uh, if I want to publish uh, in a publication which containing ISSN number, then uh, it is considered for my PhD degree or not? Uh, usually experts are going to decide. Uh, if that journal is there under Scopus or Web of Science, definitely it is a scholarly journal. Please note that. Uh, two citation indices are there, Web of Science and Scopus. They are citation indexes. Web of Science covers 39,500 journals. Sorry, Scopus covers 39,500 journals. Web of Science covers 35,000 journals. So, if your article is published either in the journal listed under Web of Science and Scopus, definitely scholars will accept because they are scholarly journals recognized by World community. Sir, sir uh, do bibli bibliography is considered as a citation? Uh, usually, bibliography means list of books or list of sources 
consulted or what we have read. We have not taken information. For having taken some definition, some information, some statistics or a table, we have to cite this source. All such sources come under references. References means list of sources referred or consulted. Sorry, list of sources referred or cited. We have taken some information. But there is difference between references and bibliography. They are considered as citation, bibliography. Oh, they are together you can consider as citation. Citation metrics. Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon to all. So thank you very much for a nice presentation. Uh, regarding to plagiarism, so uh, I have a question about it's the logic behind that. Uh, is it really a rational approach to support, support the science of village or science of community, or it's only for making business? Because we can see number of softwares, then the question will raise, for example, I'm working on my thesis, currently I'm using the Grammarly and I can check its plagiarism. If I come to the library and if I check there, so I can see a gap. Or if I go to back to my country, if I check there, I could see another gap. So since there is no, uh, by the time, the level of the plagiarism is going to be changed. And I don't know the rationality behind this. You are, you are mentioning particularly about anti-plagiarism software or something else. There are a number of so other software packages. Right, also. sir. But the, uh, uh, then the question will come half some, so. Sometimes uh, uh, that uh, uh, publisher's community, publisher's community is there. For example, uh, there is a lady in Kazakhstan, you might have heard of her, Kazakhstan. So she has created a website. So if you copy DOI or the website address, if you paste it onto her website, it will open. You need not become subscriber or you need not pay, pay paywalls. It will work, work on the paywalls. There are number of cases against her. Since she is in Kazakhstan, nobody is catch, able to catch hold of her. She is trying to defend. These publishers are making money. They are actually uh, taking the content of the researcher. They are taking the content of the researcher. They are printing the journals. Uh, then they are actually selling the web content to the again to the researcher. Now this has to be avoided. So why can't you provide scientific information freely to everybody? Why do you collect money? This is our contention. People, many people have appreciated this one. But in India, this was before Delhi High Court. Delhi High Court said uh, this is a uh, uh, violating copyright act. This should not be practiced in the country. Many a time this publisher, they look for making money, opportunity to make money. Sometimes even though the impact factor is only two, three, they say our impact factor is five, six, seven, like that. Again, this was before uh, Washington High Court. 50, 55 million dollar fine was imposed on the publisher one time. This is also there. Thank you. Oh, yes. Actually, I have to recommend the presenter of this uh, lecture. My question is uh, based on the issue of uh, plagiarism. The last statement you made was that in order to avoid plagiarism, if you caught or you summarize, or you paraphrase. And additionally, you have to cut a page number. But sir, is it necessary, or is it applicable to cut a page number when using the test books? Or the issue of page number is only applicable to journals? Uh, can you repeat the question? 
I said the last statement we made was that in order to avoid plagiarism, if you court, oh. you have to cite, oh. you have to acknowledge. Oh. That's one way. Second way, if you take a statement, you summarize it and you cite. Third, if you take a statement again, you read, paraphrase, cite, and write the page number. I'm talking of the issue of page number. Somewhere I said that it is only applicable to journals, not to all test books. So it did applicable. My question is that, is it true? But the issue of writing a page number, well caught in, acknowledge, or paraphrase, acknowledge, and that, is it also applicable to the test books? Ah, yes, sir. That's the question. Uh, when we say plagiarism, it not only applies to research papers and research reports and doctoral thesis, it applies to textbooks also. Textbook also. Many a time, somebody, somebody raised a complaint. Uh, Dr. Radha Krishnan, President of India, he published two volumes, Indian Philosophy, 900 pages, two volumes. Volume 1, 900 pages, volume 2, 900 pages. In 1956, a professor by name Mishra, he complained that uh, one of my book he has taken, complete chapter has been copied. There was a, it was a textbook. Indian Philosophy, volume 1, volume 2 was a textbook throughout India for universities. Whether it is a textbook or a research report or a research article, if there is any plagiarist content, the original author is free to raise objection. Recently, uh, in the year 2018, July 31st, Government of India has issued Gazette notification. What is the punishment? What has to be done? And there is a law. Notification is issued by Government of India. It is called Gazette Notification. Thank you, sir, for the very informative session. I have one doubt, sir. If the two research scholars working on the same research gap, the same finding, even though they are presenting their data in the article is different, is there it comes under any plagiarism like that, sir? Uh, many cases are there. Same title. Content differ, but year year of collection data differs. Differs, chapter content differs, but uh, there is a rule. Please note this one. Uh, if you take up a topic for research, as soon as you complete your synopsis, your synopsis. Please note this one. It applies to you also. Uh, that has to be that has to come under uh, not uh, Shod Ganga, Shod. Shod Gangotri, there is a website called Shod Gangotri. It is nothing but registered synopsis. If Shod Gangotri, synopsis, Shod Ganga, uh, full text thesis, 3,20,000 full text thesis from 350 universities are there, Shod Ganga. Shod Gangotri is nothing but registered synopsis. All of you are expected to register first. If somebody takes up the same topic for research, if he register first under Shod Gangotri, if you have not registered, he will be in trouble. Yaradaru one day title Ibro thesis thondre, first yar register matter Shod Gangotri, our day one day, it is plus point. Therefore, as soon as you submit your research synopsis, as soon as it is approved or accepted, it has to be hosted on the Shod Gangotri website to claim your right. Because another person, he will refer to that one, he will try to avoid taking the same topic. There is every chance of duplicating the research. To avoid duplication, UGC has created Shod Gangotri registered synopsis. Shod Ganga is nothing but full text thesis, full text thesis whatever submitted to 350 Indian universities. As of today, 3,20,000 or 25,000 theses are there. It is on open platform. Open platform, any student sitting at home can download the thesis, will get it printed, will get it bound, 
you will make correction using red ink and you can, you can give the volume to voice transfer we have to be very careful nowadays it is an open platform your thesis will be an open platform thank you thank you sir for your brief informative session and clearing the doubts of the participant now i request ms jaslin to give a vote of thanks sorry uh, i request now dr sidananda ayer coordinator of our exhibition uh, to accompany the resource person to the dais thank you sir now i request uh, ms jaslin to give a words of thanks thank you once a great man whispered feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like crafting a present and not giving it today i take this open opportunity to put all my gratitude into words on behalf of the mr department and all the participants i would like to express our sincere gratitude to our honorable resource person dr cp ramesh coordinator dr s radhakrishnan center for philosophy university of mysore who spent his busiest time gracing the occasion today we had the opportunity to hear your talk on the scientific conduct acad academic and research ethics which have enlightened our minds thank you sir for adorning the occasion as a token of love and reverence i re i request dr chidananda coordinator department of education mangalore university to hand over memento to sir thank you sir thank you thank you everyone thank you jaslin and uh, now it will be a lunch break please be here sharp at 220 we will be starting a valedictory program uh, because our chief guest has another appointment so please be here at sharp 220 pm thank you